The worldwide network infrastructure of internet cables and wireless signal is the fastest in South Korea and Japan. The average bandwidth speed there is 22 megabods per second, far above the United States at a measly 8.4 megabods per second. The Philippines, however, have the slowest internet speed in the entire Southeast Asian region, with an average speed of 3.54 megabods per second. Ever since Google launched Street View in 2007, the project team photographed 20 petabytes of data. Comprising photos taken along 5 million miles of roads, covering 39 countries and about 3,000 cities. The first five American cities were captured on a 5 megapixel camera. Now the company uses a device with a 75 megapixel sensor. Thanks to their internet popularity, many meme heroes have raised money for a good cause. For example, the child from the Success Kid meme made enough money to fund his dad's kidney transplant. The owners of the iconic sour puss Grumpy Cat send a portion of all merchandise sales to rescue cat charities. Finally, the girl behind the overly attached girlfriend meme has launched a YouTube series in an effort to raise money for good causes. Li-Fi refers to visible light communications technology, which delivers high-speed bi-directional networked mobile communications in a manner similar to Wi-Fi, but at download speeds 100 times faster. It promises huge speed advantages as well as more secure communications and reduced device interference. This is how it works. An overhead lamp is fitted with an LED with signal processing technology. That streams data at ultra high speeds to a photo detector. A receiver dongle converts tiny changes in amplitude into an electrical signal, which is then converted back to a data stream and transmitted to a computer or mobile device. Google lets you use a wide array of services for free. In exchange for information about you, but what does Google really know? If you have location history turned on, Google will track where you go. Google will also track your search in a bunch of different services and provide search results based on your history. Google can serve you interest-based ads because it has a bunch of data about you, including your age, gender, languages you speak, and what it thinks your interests are. Google also keeps track of what devices you use. And when you were last active on them, to make you feel less paranoid and protected against unsanctioned access. But if you ever want to break ties or just make a copy of your data, you can use Google Takeout to export everything to a zip file. The internet isn't the web, and the web isn't the internet. The internet was a thing long before the web, and the web wouldn't exist without the internet. The internet, the roots of which can be traced as far back to the invention of the modem in 1958, is a massive infrastructure that bridges millions of computers throughout the globe. But the World Wide Web is a vast system of interlinked hypertext documents accessed on the internet. The internet's first website went online on August 6, 1991. Berners-Lee and his fellow CERN team members launched a website that only contained 153 words. It defined the World Wide Web and contained 25 links to additional information about the pioneering initiative. The launch of the Mosaic web browser in 1993 is considered a turning point in the history of the World Wide Web. 
The graphical browser was developed by a team at the National Center for Supercomputing Applications at the University of Illinois. Mosaic is credited for popularizing the World Wide Web. Even though Bill Gates is known for his brilliant understanding for the IT world, during his career he's made predictions which were way off the mark. In 2004, Gates predicted that the problem of spam email messages will be gone within two years. Similarly, in 1981, Gates reportedly said that nobody would ever need more than 640 kilobytes of memory on their personal computer. And finally, he had also said that Microsoft will never make a 32-bit operating system. However, in 1992, in order to keep up with demand, Microsoft released beta of a 32-bit Windows NT.